What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video today and today we are covering a new survival game that is on the brink of actually releasing. It's been in early access since 2021 solely on the Epic Games Store but is now coming to full release on Steam as well as the Epic Games Store and the name of this game is Void Train. Void Train has been one of the most anticipated, most wishlisted game on Steam currently as we're speaking and it is created by the developer team of Hypertrain Digital. They are best known for a game called Breath Edge. And that game was a actually ended up being a very popular indie game um, surrounded by being in a spa abandoned space station that was crashed where you're in this zero G element. And that game actually received very positive reviews on Steam. So this game, Void Train, is going to take a lot of the elements from that game into this one to make it even more expansive and make it their most ambitious game yet. A lot of people compare this game to Raft. This, so as you kind of watch the gameplay and I kind of discuss the story and the premise, you'll start to see that elements. But before we get into it, if you guys haven't done so already, please like and subscribe to the content if you guys want to see more news, updates, reviews, and just overall good vibes in the gameplay uh feel free to subscribe but anyways let's get back into it let's talk about the premise of void train void train you play as the engineer who gets lost in a snow blizzard and takes shelter in a nearby barn after getting inside he flips a switch and a giant triangular portal opens up and sucks him in then once you kind of get sucked through you realize you've been transported into this strange interdimensional area called the void where it's this massive expanse where there's no gravity and for some reason, there's this weird singular track that runs through it with a minecart on it. Um, one thing about the game that I find very interesting is there is narration in the game, especially in the beginning, that I feel like the voice actor really adds to the mysterious aspect of it, where it kind of makes you feel like you, you want to discover more. They're doing a lot of world building without actually really saying much, just based off of the way the narrator, I believe, adds to the game. So that's something that kind of stuck out to me and that you don't see super often in games nowadays. Usually it's a lot of just cutscenes, but this one, they're kind of adding a narrator uh, to it to kind of help explain things. But anyways, once you get stuck through the portal, like I said, you get stuck to this small minecart. While you're in the void, you are tethered to this minecart. So you can jump off as like you can kind of see now where you're tethered to this and you can float off and go towards the debris. And near the debris, you'll see things that you can pick up, items and things you can pick up that you'll eventually use uh, to craft or get food or so on and so forth. After a while, you approach this big triangular gate where you enter what is like a depot, kind of like a, a stop. And while you're there, you'll find items to kind of progress the story. You might fight enemies, you're gonna solve puzzles, um, and also too, there you can add to your minecart. So as you add to the minecart with some of the elements that you got, you can basically kind of create your own full-fledged train with things like furnaces and ovens and crafting benches, add different cars to it. The cars will have different things, different locomotives. So you're just kind of building this train and that's where a lot of the raft similarities come from is where you have this small little rinky-dink thing but then you kind of build it up to make it this kind of powerhouse thing that helps you kind of survive as you go along. Once you're done and you're done with the depot, you can now leave that gate, essentially that depot and go back into the void. While going through the void and while you're going across the game, you're gonna come across enemies in the void as well as in the depots through the gate. You will continuously have to build your train your characters, your weapons, and solve these puzzles to kind of progress through. The footage that you're seeing here is just the demo. So this, the game fully releases on May 9th. So in this gameplay here, you don't get to see a lot of like fighting enemies and a lot of action. It mostly kind of tells you, kind of sucks you into kind of the lore and the general mechanics of how the game works. We have yet to really see a whole lot of the shooting mechanics as we haven't came across a ton of enemies. But right when the demo ends, you see another mysterious train coming in the distance. And that kind of like sets you up for what's to come once full release hits the hits steam. And it seems that if 
while you're running through these voids, it's you're going to have these enemies that you're going to have to survive. And then once you get to the depots, the depots is where you kind of get off that mine cart and you might have to do whatever task is set up for you to do. Based on the trailers, it I don't quite know how long the game is from what I've seen from players and from players in early access from what the dev team says it looks like there's roughly about 50 to 70 hours in this game so this game could keep you busy for a while and honestly there could be a lot of endless elements to it because of the way this game goes you could they could honestly continue with this game as however long they want in the trailer they start off with 120 gates so i don't know if that is like the end game is 120 gates or not but it easily sets up for the future if they want to add post launch content to add more gates and more things going on. So like I said, I'm gonna kind of go into my thoughts of what I've seen and why this game for me has been so interesting is one, it's been an early access on Epic exclusive since late 2021. A lot of people kind of think who's been following this game for a while, I thought that was kind of a bad move, um, having it locked behind Epic, especially for an indie based game. I kind of agree and it looks like they did as well so now they're moving it to steam and with that move to steam it became one of the most wishlisted games on there so a good financial business move there um i like the new approach that is taking to the survival genre it kind of and i like the the world that it's kind of creating is something super unique that i haven't seen before um it kind of the closest thing i can think of it that i've personally played you guys might have some uh, other comparisons as well but to me it kind of gives me Bioshock vibes without actually being Bioshock um, a, that very steampunk look to it um, as for the gameplay I, it seems like from the little bit that I've played in the trailers and the other footage that I've seen from early access it kind of gives you a lot of elements of a traditional like round based FPS like co-op shooter imagine like I don't know a COD Zombies for example where as you enter these gates and as you go through these gates, the game seems to get progressively harder with its puzzles, with its uh, enemies, um, with the other uh, like vehicles and things you have to come across in the void as well as in the gates. I like how it seems to get progressively harder as you go through these. It kind of gives a different element that I haven't seen in a survival game before personally. Um, and I think that could attract a lot of people who generally have never really been into survival games um also it gives a little from what i've seen it gives a little bit more actiony engaging fps like shooting elements that you don't see it typically in a lot of survival genre games which could also like i said attract a lot more like co-op looter shooter fans um which i'm one of them which is one of the big reasons even though i don't need to have guns in every game that i play uh, not every game has to be a shooter. I do enjoy a nice survival game. Um, I do like seeing the blend between the two, and I think it can make a really interesting uh, kind of blurred lines of what they're doing here. Um, overall, um, I'm really pumped for this game. And Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited for this as well. Um, like I said, the game is going to be dropping May 9th, and once after a few days after that release, I'm going to put a couple dozen hours into it and give you guys a full in-depth review of everything that i've seen and if it's going to live up to the hype or not but everything seems to be heading in that direction so i hope to see you guys in the void and once again if you guys haven't done so already please feel free to like and subscribe to the content for much more from reviews news covering trailers so on and so forth we'll see you guys in the next one peace out